Hey guys, here we go again with another experimentally challenged test, and we're going to see how much power does a mini split AC unit use. Alright, here we go again with another experimentally challenged test. Alright, we have this AC mini split system. Here's the outdoor unit, and here is the indoor unit. And it's pretty balmy here in the house, really hot today. And here is a tester, a, a consumption meter. So we're going to see how much power this thing consumes. Now when we, when we installed this mini split aircon system, it was a temporary install for a rental home. Uh, we knew we'd be pulling it out, so we didn't want to do anything permanent. Uh, we took out the window unit that was here before because it wasn't working and, and installed the mini split on this panel and ran all the tubing down through this insulation and, and the electrical wires out to the outdoor unit which we placed conveniently next to this outdoor outlet so that we could plug in the outdoor unit versus hard wiring because when you make it so you can plug it in you don't need any kind of permits to do the job. As you can see we have two two plugs here going into one. Uh, one is for the indoor unit, one is for the outdoor unit. Normally the out indoor unit will wire into the outdoor unit but we wanted to make it easily separable uh, for a later time. Okay so here we are we're gonna plug in the the meter here and it comes on, says zero, zero, zero. Now this is the complete AC system plugging in right now. Now when you plug it in, it's not on. The power is not on on the unit. You see you have 4.2 watts. Now, we got this fancy remote here. You know, I wanted to add the information here. It's a 13 seer mini split. And uh, so it has a 12,000, looks like, BTU rating. It's 115 volts, 60 hertz. It says 1100 watts, 9.5 amps. It also does heating at 9 amps. But we're only going to test. The cooling today and it has the R410 refrigerant. Now we already have the remote set on the lowest setting which is 61 degrees and the fan on high. As you can see it says on the right auto high mid low swing it's on high and it's on cool. Okay you can see we're at 2.2 all right go ahead and turn it on. Now it's coming on now it is a soft start inverter style AC unit. It's on, as you can see. It's not drawing a lot of power yet. Uh, the fan, even on the inside, I think is a soft start. So 32 watts. This is how many watts it's taking at the moment. And uh, 28. And the outdoor unit has not kicked on, it seems, yet. But it will. It takes a little bit. There it is. It's kicking on. Not bad. Not bad at all. 800. Going back down, maybe. Seven forty seven. Seven thirty eight. Now, on the function here. There's a function button, and we can press that and get more 750, function kilowatt hours, 
0.015 volts 118 amps 6.76 amps you can see that it is on high cool at 61 degrees okay it's on run 61 probably getting the air blowing on the speaker of the phone which I'm using to record this a note 8 phone okay so we have about 1130 in the morning it's still quite early we're gonna go ahead and leave it on and come back later all right as you can see it's still at 61 degrees and running and the time is currently about 3 30 which is four hours since the last video the house is pretty cool it's not too uh, not so hot in here anymore outside it's pretty hot yes it is definitely hot and sunny out here today it's Watts, 3.514 kilowatt hours is what we've used in the 4 hours and 11 minutes since we started this. And volts is 118, amps is 7.98. Okay, it looks like our maximum peak watt usage was 917, and we consumed 3.513 kilowatt hours in about four hours. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our next episode of Experimentally Challenged. Yes, that's right. That's us. And we're going to answer some really tough questions that nobody else has even bothered to find out, like, can we run this mini-split system on a car battery in an inverter? How cool would that be? And and how long would it run for? And and how much kilowatt hours can we pull out of an Optima battery? You know, nobody seems to know these tough questions or these tough answers to these tough questions, but you can find out on Experimentally Challenged. So subscribe.